Hello Hasbro fans, this is Subless Destroyers with another 2011 going over another Clone Wars item and this item is one of 2011 battle packs, now 3 packs and this is the Cad Bane to escape one of course you get your usual pack ends, 1 dice 3 character cards, 1 for each figure and you get 3 stands of course you also get this diorama like thing that is included with the battle packs and mini rigs now. So yeah, nothing too special about that. You get the packaging. So is a clone was will go there. Down here, Cad Bane's Escape Battle Packs. Take a look at the back of the packaging. The packaging reads just as the ship explodes, Cad Bane hides his identity and escapes the skies as a clone trooper. Here you get prototype images of the figures Ahsoka, Cad Bane, in clone trooper disguise and Anakin Skywalker. And of course you see the other battle packs as wave, Assault on Geonosis, we've got a review coming of that one. Defend Camino, a review coming of that one as well. And the Hunt for Grievous, we've got a review of Clone Trooper Kicks from that pack up on our channel already. But we're not reviewing the pack as a whole. Anyway, move on to the figures and clothes of this pack. First up, another Anakin Skywalker. This is among the 13 they've confirmed for the line by the time of this video. So, And it's among the worst. The only real thing you've got going for this Anakin to us is articulation. He's fully articulated, aside from the swinging out hips, ball jointed hips, but you know, has but don't include that for many figures besides Fs and figures they want to fit in vehicles, so you can know, play too much about that. But the face sculpt is utterly awful in this figure, and truthfully, it the face sculpt looks better with the helmet on than with it off. Speaker which take the helmet off. It really does look absolutely awful, the face sculpt. The expression is overdone, quite like the expression to character she does on the show, for that matter, but still. Of course, accessories you get a lightsaber, that helmet, and over there, a jetpack with some red detailing and grey detailing and of course like all jetpacks it has a firing feature for some reason yeah there we go so it's working for me so yeah not the accessories aren't the best in this figure you also get a smaller version of the launcher for display pieces but Anakin not the best figure and it's really just it's not even really a space suit Anakin it's just the regular Anakin uh, it's season 1 and season 2 design with a uh, space helmet, and not to it really, so it's not even a space Anakin, truthfully. And now we'll go on to the other figures from this wave. Another spacesuit variation figure. This time it's Ahsoka Tano from her space gear. This was originally released as a basic figure in 2009, but for some reason, uh, I don't even know why, I, I don't even know if Hasbro knows why they did it, but they made it pink, entirely pink, and it just looked horrible, no one bought it, and if they did, then, oh, for God's sake, why go into the store and buy a figure so he covered with pink like this was, and it was so off colour, and not screen accurate. His variation is better in terms of screen accurate and colouring, but it's still not even the best ex entirely accurate. I think the colouring should be a bit more brighter, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just when I compare it to like pictures of the space gear in the episode Kegra of Doom, it just doesn't really strike me as being absolutely perfect. Anyway. Face sculpt again, pretty poor, it doesn't really resemble the character, the markings are off. And accessories, you get two, her long green lightsaber and the helmet. And like if I can, I'll give you a look of the helmet off. So, as Ahsoka's face sculpt again, 
like and again expression terrible and I can't even say the excuse that Ahsoka's expressions are overdone in the show because they are not <laughs> um, articulation like Anakin the articulation is pretty good you get shoulders swivel forearms what well, head as well so um knees and ankles so very good articulation on this figure but like Anakin this figure really lacks in terms of screen accuracy or a very thing good like the face sculpt is a huge flaw with this figure to be honest and save the best for last outside time because even this figure isn't perfect and it has its flaws and that is Cad Bane and Clone Trooper Disguise. The interesting thing is this was actually intended to be a basic figure released as part of the red packaging between 2009 and early 2010. It was eventually cancelled and Asro pushed it back into this battle pack which annoyed many collectors because, and I can see why because um, you get this figure ca collectors and kids want but you that has both put it with one repack which is the Anakin and one repaint which is the Ahsoka so instead of having to pay just a, a reasonable amount for the figure in a one pack basic figure they now collectors and kids now have to pay a, a, a good amount of uh, sorry not a good amount of money a big amount of money to buy t this figure but as well as that along with a repaint and a repack. Anyway, this figure does have a lot of accessories. You get DC-15 blaster back here. You also get two other accessories, a Republic backpack, which has a nice Republic logo there. And you get a holocron, which I was really surprised to see, and it does have a lot of great detail on it. One problem with the holocron is that it's kind of hard to fit it in the backpack, but it's no biggie really and another of course is the removable helmet and I'll be talking more about the helmet soon the face sculpt they did for Bane on this figure is definitely top notch she looks very much like the character on the show and I've got no flaws with this Cad Bane face sculpt and before I go into the articulation talk about the helmet now this the clown trooper disguise this figure is based on is of clown trooper denial in 2009, in the red, black, red packaging, they released a Clone Trooper Denial figure with a very good helmet. They got the details spot on and all. But now, for some reason, Hasbro decided to go to some more effort and actually messed up the helmet. Way overpainted. Most of the paint that went into this isn't even seen on Denial's helmet in this show. And it, there's also something here I noticed. It seems this. Oh, damn. Funk can't get a grip. Um, this line here, black line there, appears to be longer than the other one over there, which is another sign of a mispaint. And it's definitely way over painted. The only real painting Donal has is these things here and this thing up here. Otherwise, it's way over painted and it quite ruins it to be honest with you and that's really the one flaw I have with the Cad Bane figure the, this Cad Bane figure is actually the SA stone sculpt which means the upper body it's stone sculpt but it's also got great articulation the upper body is stone sculpt so it can look realistic to the show but the lower body is original clone mold with great articulation and I have to say it right here if this is a sculpt they use for all clone figures, my problem with clone figures not having a ticket would be solved. The top of the figure would look very realistic to the show, and the upper body is what needs to look more realistic to the show, and it does here. And then it needs a ticket as well in the lower body down here, which this figure does, so that's one reason this figure really goes well and if they use this sculpt for all clone figures or no oh, well, I know this isn't really a clone figure but you know my chest um then my problems with them would be solved. Yeah Cad Bane definitely a really cool new version of Cad Bane. 
and this pack as a whole is pretty okay. Av cat figure ratings, I'd have to give Anakin about 4.5 out of 10. That figure really disappoints me. And not just the actual figure, the character design for when he appeared in Space Gear was pretty lazy. It was just regular gear with a space helmet. Ahsoka, I'd say 7.5 out of 10. Definite improvement over the pink release. <laughs> and Cad Bane, 9.5 out of 10. No, mm, no, 9 out of 10 because the helmet is so badly mispainted. And... That really is the one flaw I have with this Cad Bane figure, is the overpainted helmet. Anyway, that should be that for this review of the Cad Bane's Escape Battle Pack. Pretty cool battle pack. If all you want from it, though, is the Cad Bane, then I'd suggest trying to get him, just trying to get him loose on eBay. But if you want to repay the Soka or even Anakin, then I'd suggest getting this pack as a whole. And the Ahsoka isn't that bad, not as bad as the pink one anyway. Anyway, uh, as a whole, I'd give this pack about 8 out of 10. Uh, it's a pretty good pack as a whole. But aside from Don't Fig Rears, I'd probably say it's the weakest pack in this wave, to be honest with you. And that's only because I don't need the Hunt for Gears because there's only one figure I want from that and there's Clone Trooper Kicks but it's probably aside from that one the weakest in this wave of four battle packs not counting Capture the Droids and the Stop the Zero Beast one which came out in a later pack so I hope you've enjoyed this review may the force be with you and happy hunting